So, Alex. Yeah? You ready for Tier 1? Of course. Tier 1 any day. So, Alex, how would you think of these graphics? Graphics? Well, I noticed right away that the garage is bigger and there's more light. There's a moving object in the garage. Do you see it? It's behind. Uh, the, it's behind the flag. It's actually a maintenance. It's a maintenance crane that moves back and forth above the tank in the background. Um. Uh, not moving. Oh, there it is. Looking on the wrong side. There's like a Panzer IV sitting outside with a person sitting on it. Yeah, outside the garage that you can kind of barely see. Oh, cool. Uh, I, what I really like is, you know how in the actual game you can zoom in three... There's like three different zoom-in spots. Oh, there is. There's three different zoom-in spots in the garage now. It's awesome. We can see our tanks in HD details. The live button better work this time, otherwise I'm going to mash it as far as I can. So when we were doing our video for the Master Chief Collection, the, um, the silent cartographer one, wait, no, not that one, the installed on the control room one, yeah. like, we, he, there was, like, one small point in the video where I noticed that the live button had turned off for no reason whatsoever. And apparently it, it like, I had to fast, I had to wait for it to catch up to the game. Even then I ended up making a jump. There's a lot of people playing on the Xbox One if you can't tell. Like 114 people and Tier 1 is not normal. Guaranteed. Everyone that. must be downloading it. Uh, tier 1 and Tier 3. Yeah. I'm assuming that the Tier 1 people are the people that downloaded the ga that are downloading the game, and then the Tier 3 people are the people that downloaded the game on Friday that are ranking up. Because, yeah. like, uh, the Tier 2 was just absolutely populated on Saturday, so they must have gone up a tier. We should play with the noobs. I thought that was what we were doing. Well, these people aren't all noobs. People in tier 3 are more newbie. Possibly. But you can't have the ability to do that because we're playing while downloading. Or at least he is. There are way too many screws in the back of this tank. Why? You already loaded in. Yeah. I don't know why, but for some reason I keep loading Six, in slow. Five, four, three. 5, 4, 3... Oh. Oh, the timer restarted. That's strange. That's because not all the people are loaded in on time. Alex, why are you using the default turret? Uh, because... Because I've never played this tank before. I like how, technically speaking, you don't have Tier 2s loaded in, but we're playing a Tier 2 match. What? Dude, we're the only tier 1s in the entire game. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, what the hell indeed. Are we just not gonna be able to see anyone else? Well, no, because I see them, but I suppose I- I can't. Wait, are you serious? I don't see anyone. The fuck? I don't have any allies on my radar. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Near me? Can I go through them? Show me where a person is so I can try going through <laughs> Oh, okay, I'll show you. Here, look, there's an artillery sitting over... Uh, actually, right over there. Where? I'm moving towards him. Oh, there's an AFK guy. I move kind of slow, so... Here's an AFK guy, he exists. Welcome to oh the Oh my world. gosh, explosion. You just, you just hit an invisible wall. I just hit an invisible wall. Oh my god, that's awesome. You woke him up. 
He's leaving. I can't see him. This is gonna be awful. <laughs> oh my god, that train just fell over. This is the strangest thing. Oh well, I well I I when I knew that you weren't loaded, had, didn't have everything loaded in, I didn't mean that. I didn't think that it would have been that unloaded in. I can't turn. I I can't. I think that that might be a glitch, but I need to report. What what is this? Why can't I move? I don't know. You're going straight into enemy fire, just so you know. Well, I can see their bullets. I, I can't do anything anyways. Well, that went well. I like how I can only look at you. <laughs> I wish that I could see what you were seeing, because that would be great. I'm not seeing much of anything. <laughs> That must be why I loaded in so early. Oh, uh, that would explain it. You didn't have to load 14 HD tanks. You only had to load two. <laughs> I win! I killed an artillery that was trying to shotgun people from a giant ridge. This is probably the dumbest idea ever. This T-18 is AFK again. But he's just an invisible wall again. <laughs> I like how he only woke up when you moved him and then nothing else has phased him since then. Oh, wow, well, now he moves. Oh, look at those huge explosions from those tiny things that I'm running over. You think that they're gonna add a feature to invite your Xbox Live? Uh, Xbox 360 friends, or do you think that they're not going to do it? Because I know that we're playing with a lot of that we I've been playing with a lot of Xbox 360 people, otherwise there would be no one in tier 10. Well, you don't know that. Well, that's true. I had a tier 10 one and I'm playing Xbox. Shit, I don't have any repair kits on this thing. I just realized that. Oh, how pretty. Well, their team is losing now, so that's good. I can't look at anyone. <laughs> you can only I'm just look looking at a dead tank now. That's for some reason is moving. Because someone is moving it. It just looks like it's a ghost tank. Alex, you're missing it. This guy has a dinosaur on his tank. I'm not kidding about that. He has a raptor on the top of his turret. I think the fire in your tank is two-dimensional. That might be true. It's pissing me off because it's the only thing I can look at. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of that even if it was two-dimensional, it probably wouldn't matter because you can't see it from all angles. At the same time. But it spins with me. <gasps> all content is now available. Wait, you're serious? Did it just say that? After I left the game. Oh. Hey, I can actually see the platoon activity. That's good. So yeah, can, can you see all? Of, three. Can you see all of your tanks now? Yeah. Oh, good. That might be useful. Let's see if I can. Let's pick a beautiful tank. Let's be tier three. Okay. Good old PZ1C. How about... Honestly, the PZ1C doesn't really look that much better in HD. I don't know why. It just doesn't seem to. It doesn't do it for me. Oh, Jesus, the locusts. Well, we have to both use them now. Our free tank. Dude, I have like 3,000 XP on this thing, and I've only played three games. I got Let's one game. Noobs. I got one game with a million x with so much XP. It was ridiculous. Pearl River. The one that sometimes has really racist Japanese music or Chinese music. I'm not quite sure. Racist Japanese music. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of is. Oh, there it is. Kind of isn't. It's 
historically accurate, not racist. Oh, it is stereotypical, that's all I have to say. Although I suppose that I can't really think of any music that would be tech that would be specifically Chinese. I can think of specifically Japanese that music that's obviously it's Japanese. Playing. That's not stereotypical. But this is definitely like I do the Chinese even make music anymore or do they just die that respect? Uh, they they do rap, I think. I feel like their whole music industry is just non-existent. What is with this giant exclamation mark? What do you mean? Oh, someone just put that on the map for no reason? Alright. Yeah. They can do that if they want to. Why do I hear loon sounds? Because they're a loon sound. Do you like how there's an explo- like a giant artillery explosion right at the beginning of every battle? I will push you! Uh, the rock textures aren't super good. Alright, the sounds are not HD yet. I would just tell you that. I haven't noticed. What the hell is with these loons? Why do you keep hearing them? I haven't heard one yet. All I hear is that holy thing. And when someone shoots, it sounds like a recording. From the actual war. That's about the quality it is. <laughs> I don't understand. That's not what I hear. Literally the only loons that I've heard so far are the ones from your- uh, from the feedback from you. <laughs> I feel like this is a terrible idea to go this far because I- we're in a tier 4 game. But look at all the locusts. So many. Maybe that's why they're called the locusts. <laughs> I don't think so. I think the reason why they're called the locusts is because they're really fast and they suck. Then won't they be called the mosquitoes? No, mosquitoes aren't that fast. Yeah, they, but they do suck. They kind of float around. No, I meant that they're stupid, but you know, whatever. This is like the one of the worst tanks ever because I took it damage. takes such a little amount of damage. Going downhill. For Christ's sake, this thing doesn't have any training. For oh my it. god, this is not a road. <laughs> yeah, I know I said it wasn't a road about a couple seconds before I got a bunch of damage. Do you like how it moves the plants out of the way that you run over? I want to take the damage from all angles. God damn it, why won't you die? Alex, you're getting killed by Kitta. Kitta. <laughs> you got killed by a tier 2? Holy shit. Oh wait, that's a tier 3. Yeah, I was only at half health when I met him. Oh, I exploded. Lol. Oh wow, the M2 medium looks a lot better than it used to. I like how the most useful tank on our team is AFK. Which one? The Hetzer. He is literally the most useful tank of the team because he has the most armor and the most potential damage that he can do, and yet he's AFK getting killed by a locust. <laughs> I like how there's Panzer two. There's a Panzer two J in this game. But funny thing is that the Panzer two J can only be driven by people who played the alpha of the game in Xbox 360 version because that was the only time that you could buy it oh that's a while ago yeah it is that thing has tier 5 armor but it's a tier 3 tank it basically it's impossible to kill but it has no health it has no health and it doesn't have a good gun. So basically, it's Easy impossible to kill. But, yeah. Oh. Huh. It looks really cool. It's impossible to kill, but it's kind of impossible for it to kill you most of the time. <clears throat> it's gun is literally like a tier one, a tier one flat gun. Which is terrible. Absolutely god awful gun. 
That's why the only re that's the only reason why I don't wish that I had it. Oh yeah, other than the fact that it's slow as hell. It's it's like if the PZ one uh, you know the PZ one C Alex. Yeah. It's like if that didn't have it. It's like if that had armor instead of the hilarious gun. Huh. Alex, let's play the PZ one C. Alright. The last thing that we shall do in our little platoon battle. Of achieving nothing and talking about nothing interesting, but still. Uh... We talked about balloons. That was kind of hilarious. The Panzer 1C. I don't think I. I'm pretty sure I still don't have all the upgrades for this piece of crap. It's not a piece of crap. It's it hilarious. is where you don't have all the upgrades. Oh, that might be true. I'm pretty sure you have all the upgrades for it. I'm pretty sure that last time that we played with Panzer 1Cs, you had the full upgrade. Oh, but that's good. Could be wrong. I can't really discern. Oh my god, it's for regular music from a World Tanks Xbox 360 menu. Can you hear it? Kinda. Oh my god, that music used to drive me nuts because in the beta for the 360 version, it was literally the only thing, the only music that played. And it would play uh. slightly loudly, just enough so that you could hear it, but not loud enough that uh, you wouldn't probably notice it if you were just picking a new tank for another battle. But I only had, but back in the day, I only had like three or four tanks, and they were all out to battle at the same time most of the time. So I was just sitting there listening to that music. And the cool thing about it was that it was actually ambient music, you know? It was music that was sourced from um, the radio inside the truck that was in the garage. Oh, yeah. So if you put your, your camera. To the point where a bug truck would be right behind where you um, behind it where it, it can't see it. But you have a yeah. full upgrade. Um, Tank looks a lot nicer now. I don't know. I don't think that it looks that great. I think that the pants. Although will, they could afford to look a bit dirtier. I no, mean, that's it probably never true. gets all the way here without having a single smudge on it. Hey, there's birds. Yeah. Yeah, the birds actually, um, they hang out in the bushes, and if you get close to them, then they fly away in different directions. It's pretty Let cool. everyone know where you are. Actually, it does, if you think about it. <clears throat> like, now there's a bunch of different clues to knowing where people are that you can't see. Like, for example... In the places with tall, if you're like in a field with tall grass and you see a bunch of a grass going down, then you probably know where an enemy is. Yeah. I would go slowly down this, just so you know. The track, the track traces last quite a bit longer than they did before now. That's cool. Like they used to disappear in your camera sight, but now I can still see them about as far away as I can see on my camera. Oh yeah, the boundary the boundary has changed the way that looks. It, you know how it used to be like that shitty looking red line? Now it's yeah. this grid squares thing. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. It's Different. it's placed a lot better on the map. That's what I would say. Oh yeah, and you know how it like high it would hi you know how it would highlight your tank when you're going through bushes? Yeah. It doesn't do that weird shit anymore. Oh yeah, makes the bushes like. No, it doesn't do anything. It's the bushes. Yeah, they're just bushes. It still highlights enemy tanks inside bushes though, which is kind of helpful. Only thing that I don't like is that some of these rocks on the ground are phased. We're fucking at 85 kilometers an hour? Jeez. I know. This thing can oh, really do it. Oh, I did take damage. Wow. Oh man, I just love looking- I just love being in the field. Look at the field. It's beautiful. Alright, time to just cap her base by running around in circles. Thanks. Thanks. Don't shoot. 
Otherwise, they'll know where we are. We haven't been detected yet. I have six cents on this thing, so I would know who we're. But we're only going 30 now. This would be a lot better if we were going 80. I just like. Just look at the field. It's so beautiful. Oh. I, it like waves like real. It has like little waves like real fields, you know? Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. It really is. Oh shit, we've been detected. No! Uh -oh. But we only have 16 seconds left, this shouldn't don't get shot. I've been detected! I've been detected! Detected? Lord have mercy! Shit. You've been hit. I've been hit twice. Oh, they missed me. Fire all weaponry! Oh no, it didn't die! Crap. It was almost dead. Kill the locust! I will. Oh my god, it sounds like cereal being poured into the box from your end. <laughs> cereal made out of bullets, maybe. Oh, I just am murdering. All I've been doing is going in circles, and yet I'm still killing people. <laughs> That's amazing. I know, I've killed two people, and 40 pen I've had 40 penetrations just by going around. Oh, T18. Run away! Oh, uh oh. Whoa! -oh. No. Must. Continue. Moving. This guy doesn't know how to aim. Bye. I like how you can see all the bullet holes in your tanks. Like, the bullets actually stay uh, long enough. I think it's amazing that you're killing all these guys with a PZ-1C. What I like is that I wasn't even using the PZ-1C strategy. I was just going around in circles. I know. Oh yeah, 2,600 XP just for doing absolutely nothing. 430 XP. <laughs> Alex, you have to get- you have to be better at the PZ-1C. I know. Cause more damage to enemy vehicles than hit points of your vehicle. Destroy at least two enemy vehicles that cause damage to your vehicle in one battle. Bruiser, damage enemy vehicles, modules, or injure crew members at least five times in a battle. Oh, I did six critical hits. No wonder. That's awesome. Alright guys, I'll see you next time, and so will Alex.